Welcome to IFRS Meaning. Today, we will talk about foreign currency transactions under IAS 21. In this video, we will develop a couple of practical examples to understand the accounting recognition of foreign currency transactions under international accounting standards. A foreign currency transaction is a transaction settled in a currency other than the functional currency. Remember that the functional currency is the currency of the primary economic environment in which an entity operates. If you want to expand the concept of functional currency, in the description you can find a video where we talk about this topic. If the functional currency of an entity is the euro for example, and the entity acquires debt in dollars, it will be necessary to translate those dollars to euros. So, to understand the concept of a foreign currency transaction, let's look at these examples. A pharmaceutical company located in France sells medicines to customers in the United States. In January of year one, the entity sold inventory for $2 million. The entity's functional currency is the euro. How should the accounting recognition taking into account the following exchange rates? In January of year 1, $1 is equal to 0 0.90 euros. On the other side, in December of year 1, $1 is equal to 1.2 euros. The sale is paid for in December of year 1. In this way, at initial recognition, an entity that engages in foreign currency transactions is exposed to changes in the value of the foreign currency relative to the functional currency. Therefore, a company will translate a foreign currency item into its functional currency. The first accounting record will be an income in euros for the value of 1,800,000. In December of the same year, the entity must recognize the effect of the variation in the exchange rate. This variation is the effect of recognizing a transaction with different exchange rates at two different times. So, in January of year 1, $2 million is equal to 1,800,000 euros. And in December of year 1, $2 million is equal to 2,400,000 euros. After this, it will be necessary to derecognize the account receivable and recognize the cash entry. Now let's see another example where there are currency transactions and a change in the fair value of an asset. In January of year 1, an entity acquires an investment property for $20,000. On the other hand, the entity's functional currency is the euro. The exchange rate and fair value of the investment property are shown below. In the initial recognition of January of year 1, $1 is equal to 0 0.89 euros. In August of year 1, $1 is equal to 1.1 euro, and the fair value equal to $25,000. And finally, in December of year 1, $1 is equal to 0 0.8 euros, and the fair value equal to $19,000. The accounting recognition is shown below. In this way, the initial recognition is an investment property for 17,800 euros. Now we are going to recognize the change in the fair value of the investment property. At this point, it is necessary to clarify the following situation. Under IAS 21, an entity translates foreign currency monetary items using the closing exchange rate at the end of each reporting period. On the other hand, the company will translate non-monetary items that are measured in terms of historical cost in a foreign currency, using the exchange rate on the date of the transaction. And finally, it will recognize the non-monetary items that are measured at fair value in a foreign currency, using the exchange rates at the date when the fair value was determined. Therefore, in August of year 1, we will to show the change effect on the fair value of the investment property. To carry out this operation, we know that the fair value at this date amounted to $25,000. However, we must review the exchange rate to recognize the translation from dollars to euros. In this way, we must convert $25,000 at a rate of 1.1 euro. 
So, it will be necessary to recognize an increase in the fair value of 9,700 resulting from the following operation. As you can see, the fair value as of January of year 1 is 17,800 euros. However, the fair value as of August of year 1 is equal to 27,500 euros. For this reason, we must make an accounting adjustment for the change in the fair value of the investment property, as shown below. And finally, we must recognize the change in fair value as of December of year 1. The fair value is equivalent to $19,000 on this date, and an exchange rate of 0.8 for each dollar. Consequently, the fair value is equal to 15,200 euros. Based on this result, it will be necessary to recognize 12,300 in profit and loss. The accounting record is as follows. It is essential to clarify that the reduction in the fair value of the investment property is not an impairment. Let's remember that when an asset is measured at fair value, the reduction in the value of an asset of this nature has the connotation of a decrease in its fair value and not the connotation of impairment, unlike assets measured at cost. Finally, if you want to learn IFRS, be an expert and make a difference, we remind you to review our course on International Financial Reporting Standards. The course has more than 270 explanatory videos, more than 370 analysis questions, personalized advice, and real-world examples and cases. In the video description, you can find all the course information. Cheer up, and take your professional career to the next level.